we will demonstrate how to do a test called CTSIB, Clinical Test of Sensory Interaction Imbalance. We're going to assess the patient of four different conditions, how the four different conditions affect the balance. Number one is, patient is going to stand in a flat surface, feet together, arms crossed, and then eyes open, stay still for 30 seconds. The thing is, the feet is together, the arms are crossed. The test is positive if the patient is, takes the arms away or cannot maintain the balance if the patient steps out from the step. If the test is negative, the patient can maintain up to 30 seconds. So we are doing for 30 seconds right now. So score will be 30 if he completes 30 seconds. So after 30 seconds, we're going to ask the patient the same position, flat surface, eyes closed. He's going to do for th another 30 seconds. Again, the test will be positive if the patient cannot maintain the balance if he steps away from the feet together or if he releases the arms on the chest. When 30 seconds is complete, patient can open his eyes and then we are going to ask the patient to stand on a cushion. Again, he is going to keep the feet together, eyes open, then again we are going to start for another 30 seconds. Go. The test is positive if the patient is takes his arms away or step out from the cushion. But we have to time in such a way that as soon as the patient releases the hands or step away, that is the time he should test it. Okay, the last fourth condition is keeping the same position, keeping the arms crossed, we are going to ask the patient to keep his eyes closed. Start. It's okay to sway because normal people will sway, but as long as the patient cannot maintain, then you got to stop the watch and then time it how long he could stand on that position. Good can open your eyes. So we, we tested in four different conditions. For example, when the patient is standing on arms crossed, eyes open a flat surface, if you could do 30 seconds, your score is 30. Eyes open and eyes closed, if you could do 30 seconds, then your score is 60. So every position you are counting up to 30, 30, the maximum core a patient can get is 120. If the patient have impairment, if he's doing 30 seconds, the first condition, the second condition, if he's doing only 20 seconds, so you need to add from 30 to 20, so because the score becomes 50. So you're going to add all the seconds of each test. The maximum score is going to 120. So uh, if, if the patient is standing in a flat surface, arms crossed, if the patient is losing balance, here the, comprom here, the proprioception is not compromised. If the patient is losing balance, the patient might have a, a balance, patient might be having a issues with the proprioception. When the patient is standing feet together, arms crossed, when the eyes are closed, when he is not maintaining in the position, that means the vestibular system is depending on the visual cues to maintain the balance. And then standing on a cushion, eyes open, here we are compromising the uh, proprioception. He is supposed to lose balance. So uh, that means his muscular weakness could be there too. And then standing with the eyes closed, arms crossed, in a cushion, that means we are compromising the visual, we are compromising the proprioception, so his vestibular system should work perfectly to maintain the balance. If it is not, so that means patient is having a vestibular compromise. Thank you so much.